guys, so since having a baby, my life seems to revolve around all things baby, and also being the product-obsessed person I am, I have decided that there are a few baby products for Belle that I really love for myself. So I'm going to share three of those with you today. They're all drugstore items, and I just can't say enough good things about them. So first one is this Burt's Baby Bee Nourishing Lotion in Original. I think I talked about this in a favorites video. Yes, a lot of it is used up because because I use this on Belle after bath time and I also use it on me after bath time because it smells so good. It's not like um, that traditional baby powder scent which I'm not knocking baby powder but this is even better than that. It has such a mild like lightly sweet but really really clean scent. It's a 99% natural product but it's not enough that the scent alone is good because this time of year in particular I need a really rich moisturizer for all over my body and this is so nice and thick. Personally, I wouldn't have thought that a lotion for babies would be this potent and really rich in moisturizing, but it's great on her skin, which tends to be pretty dry, but really good on my skin as well. And another huge plus to this is that it's really good for my sensitive areas, which tends to be my legs um, after I shave. They can be really prone to getting red bumps on them if I use a lotion that's too heavily fragranced. But I can slather as much this on as I want and it won't irritate those areas. And like I said, it just has the greatest scent and I kind of wonder if Belle like recognizes that scent on herself and then smells it on me and maybe that, I don't know, helps her calm down or something. Who knows? I am totally going to be repurchasing this, probably in a larger size. I just can't recommend that enough. Second product I want to mention is something for um, problem skin, um, eczema prone skin, really, really dry and sensitive skin. And I actually picked this up up specifically for Belle because I was noticing on her face she was getting some areas that looked a little red, very dry, and just the whole surface of the skin looked very uneven and I thought I wonder if that's painful. Yeah. I don't know, odds are she can't even feel that, but I'm like, hmm, now that I'm in charge of another human skincare, I'm gonna go do something about it. So I did a little research online and I found that this Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream is safe for use on face and body for a baby and there's not a lot of things that seem to openly spell specify that they can be used on a baby's face. So the way I use this on her is I just get a tiny amount, like that much, on my finger. And I rub it most of the way into my own hands. So really, just a small portion gets on her and I kind of pat it in on her cheeks, forehead, nose. And I'll be darned if that stuff was not cleared up in three days. I swear, it's just amazing. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a pediatrician, so I don't know that this is gonna work for everybody the same way it did for us. But it totally hydrated her skin, did not irritate it. Now she is just 100% percent totally smooth again and I continue to use this once a day like I said in that very small amount but the part two of this story is that this works really well for me also I personally have dealt with eczema years ago I have a video on my channel where I talked about having eczema on my face I had it like around my eyelid area and I actually went to a doctor and got a prescription product to help deal with that but every now and then I get kind of an eczema situation that comes up on my hand it flares up around my knuckles if it were flaring up right now, you'd be able to see it, but I've been using this on my own hands and it works so well. If you've got the dry, itchy, irritated skin, this is a super gentle product to use on it. And there's a reason why this is like almost used up and this probably isn't gonna be used up for a long, long time because this is the kind of thing I'm just using in you know very targeted places for me, like my hands where I might have an eczema issue like that or just the lightest amount on Belle's face. This is something I'm slathering on and using all over the body, but both I think are equally important products to me right now. Product number three is something that I actually don't use on Belle. I don't use any baby powder on her, but this is my dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo. This beats any product I have bought that is called a dry shampoo. And it's Johnson's Baby Powder Pure Corn Starch. And the scent here is Refreshing Magnolia Petals. I had just used the regular for the longest time and it worked fine, but the scent of this is so like wonderfully refreshing and kind of soothing, comforting smell. I love that. Here's my deal. I have fine hair. It can get weighed down very easily. I've noticed my scalp lately has gotten more oily than usual. And a lot of times with the dry shampoos, I'll put them in 
in, they will seem to have the effect I'm after right away, but as hours pass throughout the day, everything falls flat, number one. And number two, I feel like I've got buildup in my hair. And I get kind of self-conscious that my fine hair shows that, you know, like, can people see that my hair is looking oily now? This stuff, however, is the bomb. I mean, talk about inexpensive. You're getting so much here. I just sprinkle a little bit into the palm of my hand, kind of rub my hands together, and then start working it right into my roots. And you might say, well, isn't that white baby powder showing up on your dark hair? Well, used it today. Don't think you can see it. You just really got to work it in. Sometimes if I'm even in a hurry, I will take my hairbrush, sprinkle a little bit of this right on the brush, and just go to town, brushing it through my hair, and it totally disappears. But it's absorbing that oil. It's actually lasting. It's having a lasting effect, and it's the cheap factor, you know? You can use a little bit of this. This is going to last you so long. It smells great. Refreshing magnolia petals. I found this at Walgreens. I love it. One bonus product that I want to mention, um, it's not technically for the baby. It's for a mama who's nursing the baby. And it's this Lansano um, HPA lanolin. It soothes and protects sore cracked nipples. Um, you might be able to tell I've had some sore and cracked nipples, okay? Because I've used a lot of this product. I was recently watching a lovely lady by the name of Dominique here on YouTube. I will link to her channel below. Marnie Ms. Gold Girl tipped me off to her. She's actually a news anchor in Houston. But she was saying that she uses this as like a before nighttime lip treatment. And I started doing that now and I love it. It is so smooth. It's so moisturizing. You're, when you wake up, your lips feel awesome. So yeah, if you got this, try it out on your lips. Thank you, Dominique, for the idea. This is the number one brand recommended by lactation consultants, by the way. So nips and lips, get you some. So that's it, everybody. Um, if you've got any baby products that you think grown-ups need to be using too, definitely let me know in the comments section. I think if you're a sensitive skin person, if you like lighter fragrances, the baby stuff might be something you want to look into. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.